Welcome back to Mario Kart. Today, it's time for Frap Snowland. Now, Frap Snowland is pretty good, I guess. It's definitely well made. But I mean, then again, there really is no poorly made track in this game. Or any Mario Kart, for that matter. Still picking Donkey Kong. I might change it up one of these days, but yeah. We're going crap snowland. Yeah, get the mini turbos in and don't hit the snowmen. They are deadly. Alright, I keep missing my mini turbos. I hate this part. It's so tense. But I mean, like, it's tense in a good way. So I don't really hate it. It's just... Eh. Alright, go down. Out of here. It is an ice course, but I mean, it's a pretty fun ice course. Now, I'm in the little ice cave, and I'm on the bridge now. And that's basically a lap. So I just do that two more times, and I should be done anytime soon. But I mean... Yeah, overall, snowmen are a fun little challenge to avoid, especially in that part with the ice sculpture. Um, I like the ramp. Alright, All right, yeah, see? You, you do not want to hit that snowman, because it's basically a fake item box. And fake item boxes do a lot of damage. They're pretty easy to tell when, it, when it's a fake item box, but like they do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, also, I think fake item box should totally return to Mario Kart. It's... Pretty fun item. It's like a banana, but offensive instead of defensive. Avoid all the snowmen with Donkey Kong's stellar handling. All right. That was a pretty good thing right there. And we're done. So, yeah, that's Frap Snowland. Overall, it's actually pretty fun. Even though it's a nice course. But, um, yeah, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Up next is Chaco Mountain. Now, I'm not going to be able to do a skip on Chaco Mountain. I'm just telling you right there. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you the rest of Chaco Mountain. 